Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Erickson Presents Mixing Tutorials. And today we're going to talk about creating space. Um, this is one of the things that I love to do. It's almost like a, a secret that not too many people know about, but if they really just thought about it, it's like, duh, I should have did this the whole entire time. Um, so I'm here to do that for you. Um, so, okay. So let's talk about this track with, that I keep bringing up every time I do a tutorial, which is my song, um, You Can't Be My Girlfriend. Um, the reason why this whole project is taking so long is simply because I've never mixed funk music before and I am looking for a sound. So I've remixed this song at least a hundred times and that's not even me exaggerating when I say that. Um, Cause I'm looking for a sound. So um, I don't know if this is the sound of the, of the song that I'm gonna end with. I might switch it up. I might do something different. I don't know, but it's, it's a sound that I'm, I'm going for. So I'm learning, I'm learning. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna play you without um, the trick. It's what we do And I know there's chemistry between me and you You say wow. I know it's what we do And I know there's chemistry between me and you You say you're doing right I'm telling you So, I mean, hopefully you can hear the difference I can definitely hear the difference in the clarity So let's pull up what I'm using um, I have done a tutorial using this plugin before, but I am, I love this plugin. It's called the track spacer. You can, you don't have to use this plugin. So when you guys see this, I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh my God, I have to find that plugin because he did it with that one. And it's going to be the only one I can do it with because I've done that too. So I know, but just know you don't need this plugin to do it. You can do it with any plugin that simply ducks. And that's what we're doing. We're simply ducking, but I just want to, I just want to build a workflow so you can see how I use ducking. Okay, so let's bring that that in one more time. I know it's what we do. And I know there's chemistry between me and you. So as you can see, this is taking out the frequencies of the vocals. So only only the frequencies where the vocals are present is all that is bringing out of the beat. Um, I know it's what we do. Bypass. And I know there's chemistry between me and you You say you're doing right I'm telling you and me is so wrong I know this ain't what you used to So let's just talk about what I did and how I set it up So I just have the, the attack fast and I have the release fast so the point is I want it to duck as fast as possible and I want the ducking to be removed as fast as possible once the vocals are not there. This is self-explanatory, but you know, I just want you to think about it. Okay, so the way I have this set up, it's all about the way I route my audio, why this works so perfectly. So I route my bass, which is right here. My bass has its own track, everything else. So I separate my bass from everything else because sometimes at the end, I just want to simply raise or lower the, the, the low end of the track. And this is the easiest way for me to do it. So then if I expand this and I, I have a folder called everything else, self-explanatory. So I break it up into drums, instruments, and vocals. Okay, follow me, okay? so. If I open up these, ooh, ooh, we're saving, we're saving. Or are we frozen? Either we're saving or we're frozen. I think we're frozen. Oh, shit. That's a first. Okay, good. Woo. <sighs> Thought we was frozen. All right, so let's go back. All right, so. Damn, why is my shit? Okay, so. When I open up these vo this vocal folders, you can see in the vocal folder, I have more folders. Now the vocal folder is the most important thing because that's the most important part of the music um, is the vocals to me. So right now, what I was just simply turning on and off was, 
Oh man. Okay. I thought we was frozen, but we weren't. So I wasn't affecting the drums, but I was affecting the instruments. So these are my instruments. You can see all of the instruments that I have in there. If you look down here, you can see where it says the track spacer is located. And what is triggering the track spacer is the vocal channel. So the vocal channel is feeding this track spacer. That's what it's doing here. So that's how I'm able to duck the instruments out of the way of all of the vocals because all of my vocals are coming through here, okay? Now I also have another um, instance of track spacer on the bass element. No, I don't, yes I do, I gotta have it. There's no way I didn't put that thing on there. Okay, I did. So um, I have it on the sub, the, the synth because I put a um, sub synth on it to give it a little more low end. And so the track spacer is, this one is side chaining or being fed from the kick drum. So every time the kick comes in, it's ducking the bass elements out of here, just a tad. Um, so that's cool. So that's another way I've used it. But now this is where I, this is where I want your mind. This is where it, it becomes a, uh, a rabbit hole that you can literally go down and you can make a lot of things happen when, as far as keeping the clarity. Okay, hold on. So let me go back here, instruments. <laughs> So this is all the information that I, I want the ducking to happen on. So let's uh, turn. Do I, do I know this ain't what you used to. I just don't know how to love you. And you can hear it better when it gets to the part where a lot of the uh, instrumentation comes in. So we have um, like a trumpet, not a trumpet, but a brass section. We got all kind of stuff going on. So you can hear it better here. So oh, baby girl. I'm just trying to be real with you. Tell no lies. Yeah, laughing ain't the issue. I just can't be your man. I hope you understand. It's subtle. It's very subtle. It's not like something that you're gonna be like, oh my God, I cannot hear anything but the vocal. Because if that was the case, if I had made it extreme, then that would defeat the whole purpose because it's it's almost like a mind fuck. It's like you want the music to still sound like it's there, but you also want the vocals to sound like it's there. But you don't want, when the music ducks out of the way of the vocal, you don't want that to be noticeable you just want to know that you can hear the vocal so this is this is why i do it in a subtle way but it's also good because you know we're only ducking out the frequency that the vocal is sitting in so therefore we don't have to worry about um taking out any high end or low end or taking out anything that's not needed to be taken out while the vocal is present and that's what makes it easy for everything to just stay sounding the same um yeah, I got, I, I'm pretty sure you guys get that. But anyways, back to the rabbit hole. So this is where I started experimenting. Like normally that would be it, but then I was thinking to myself, huh, what else can I do with this ducking thing? So this is what I did. So it's all about how you break up your track. So I trade, I break up everything. I Okay, here we go. The way I approach mixing vocals, like especially vocals is I mix by section. I don't mix individually. I do sometimes if it's needed, but you gotta think, say for instance, the background vocals, you got, I have four vocals that are in my background vocals going behind me on the verse. I, instead of me going through and EQing each one of those vocals, I just put them all together and then I mix all four of them together. And my thought process is simply, if I recorded this with four people, and one or two mics, because I wanted a stereo effect. So I had two mics and I have four people. That is the audio that I would have to work with. So I recreate that when I'm mixing. So it actually keeps my workflow a lot faster as well. That's how I process. So I break everything up into sections. So I can easily side chain a section against another section. So this folder right here, as you can see, is lead vocals but there's more than one vocal in here. So anything in this folder is a lead. Follow me, I know you guys follow me. Anything in this folder is a lead 
vocal. If you notice, you don't really see a lot of things happening while one thing is happening. The only thing you see in here is this right here where I probably could have put that on another track, but I just said, you know what, it, it's fine. Um, so this is like a, a hook a hook background lead that's going over the hook. So I probably could have technically moved that to another channel, but it still worked. And so that's my leads. Then I have my doo wop, <laughs> my doo wop, doo wow, that part. So these are my four tracks. And so what I did was I I put a instant of track spacer on the doo wop track. Now, obviously I'm doing that because I want to make sure my vocal track stays present. Uh -oh, let's move this up. I got two screens, y'all. I got two screens. So I want this. I want to make sure my vocal track stays present while the doo wop is going. So the, obviously, now the vocal is. I mean, the doo wop is getting out of the way of the vocal frequency. The same way the overall vocal bus was feeding into. I'm. I'm. No, I'm saying it's wrong. Um, the way the instrument track was getting out of the way of the vocals, the same way the doo wop is getting out of the way of the lead. Okay, follow me. I know y'all. I I know. It, just rewind it and watch it again if it if you're confused. But yeah, that's what's happening. So, then at all times on how he really felt off. about the situation he was in, it would go something like this. Do I know it's do what we do. do. That's what it all. And I do, know this chemistry do, between do, me I, and you. I'll turn it on. Do, you say it feels right. Do, I'm I, telling you and me it's so wrong. Do, 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 I, do. Subtle. But as you can see, what I want to be in the front is in the front. And what I want to not be in the front is not in the front. Okay. It would go something like this. Create do, layers. I, I know it's do, what I, we do. do. And I know there's chemistry do between I me I and you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Um, I did the same thing with all of the leads when something else was playing. So all of my leads are the focal point except for this hook lead. I think I put a, I put one on an instant on there. Yeah, I did. So um, yeah. So you guys get the point. I mean, I don't have to really go through a, each and every track for you to understand, but uh, for shits and giggles, I should probably put that on the shirt because I keep saying it. Okay, so this is my lead, which is... Girlfriend. You can't leave my... Okay, now I remember what's going on. All right, so then what's on here should be... Yep, track spacer. Okay, so I have the track spacer on this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, girlfriend. you can't be my girlfriend. Can't be my girlfriend. No, my girlfriend. You can't be my girlfriend. And then everything from the vocal channel is going, is uh, uh, making sure that the instruments get out of the way. Girlfriend. You can't be my girlfriend. Can't be my girlfriend. No, my girlfriend. You can't be my girlfriend. Nope. So yeah, there you have it. Quick, simple, try it. Uh, and like I said, you don't have to use the track spacer. You can use any plugin that you can route um, any type of track to. So I do know you can probably do it with the, uh, the Pro Q um, because you can route, basically you wanna be able to control the frequency. So you wanna be able to say, I only want this frequency to leave so it might be a little more technical you might have to find the frequency that the uh the vocals are sitting in with some plugins it just so happened that the track spacer just does it automatically so that's why it is my go-to um but yeah it makes it to where you can you can you can be a little more free with how loud you want things and then you can also you know move things out of the way so that's how i like to use it it's working so far I don't know if this is gonna be the final mix, but you know, it's getting there. Anyhow, I will catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. You can't be my girlfriend. Can't be my girlfriend. You can't be my girl. You know how many times I said that in that song? Like you can't be my girlfriend. I'm gonna just say something real quick. I had a girl at my house one time and I was literally 
playing back the song on my uh my sennheiser headphones and they're open back headphones and she's literally laying next to me and i forget that they're open back headphones and i get to the end where i'm just chanting this over and over again and she's like <laughs> She's like, so you don't want a girlfriend, huh? And I'm just looking at her like, we're, well, I mean, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. All right, then. I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, baby.